In this video, we're going to look at how to sort your data. Now, the first thing we need to do is to find the sort button. It's normally located two places, although in different versions of Excel, it does seem to move around a bit. But if we click the home button, you'll see over here the sort and filter button. And if you go to the data tab, the sort has a few different buttons here as well. Let me show you the absolute quickest way to sort your data on one of these columns. Now, if we want the menu bar to stay open, just double click on one of these tabs and it'll stay open for us so we don't have to keep hiding and unhiding it. So the absolute quickest way to sort, let's suppose we wanted to sort on the minimum price. Click the column J heading here, go to sort and filter and left click that, and then we can click sort smallest to largest. Now Excel is gonna ask us here, a little pop-up button, say, do we want to expand the selection? Do we just wanna sort this column and leave everything else where it is? Or do we want to sort all the other data with it? The correct answer is almost always going to be, we do want it to expand the selection. So now we click sort. So let's undo that. And on a Windows machine, you hit control, hold down control and hit Z. Let's undo that and let's try that again to see how quickly we can sort on say horsepower now. So click K, sort and filter, smallest to largest, sort and We've got that sorted from smallest to largest. And of course, as you see, we can also sort largest to smallest just as quickly. Let me show you another option here is we can click anywhere in our data and hit control A. Control A is a shortcut to select all of the data that is all right in a block together. So if we zoom out, we can see that it selected all the data in all the columns. So again, just click anywhere in the data, hit control A, that'll automatically select all the data so we don't have to expand the selection. However, now if we click sort and filter, sort A to Z, it's gonna sort on the variable in the column that we first clicked in. So in this case, it's gonna be the type of car, see? And we can tell which column it is because Excel leaves that cell colored white that we first clicked in. While we've got the data all highlighted, we can go back to sort and filter. And another way that we can do this is to go with a custom sort. So let's look at this little menu here for custom sort. Little checkbox here, my data has headers, means that variable names are in the first row. If you don't have labels, uncheck it. Now what it allows us to do is to tell it which variable we wanna sort on. Is it type or the minimum horsepower or the length or the weight of the car, et cetera, and we can just select whichever it is. Suppose we wanted to first sort on the make of the car and we can either sort it from lowest to highest or highest to lowest. And then we wanted to sort on something else, say add level. We could sort on the make and then sort on the price. Let's say sort on the average price for that model of vehicle. And we wanna sort it from smallest to largest. But of course we could also do largest to smallest. So here we have the vehicles in alphabetical order by the manufacturer and then within manufacturer if we look at the two Acuras here it's sorted on average price lowest to highest we have four Buicks here and they're in order from lowest to highest for this average price variable now most versions of Excel are smart enough to where we don't have to select all the data first. We can just go to sort and filter, custom sort, and Excel, as you see in the background here, has selected all the data already. If we wanna start over, we can just say delete level there. Let's add a level. Let's say we wanna sort on highway miles per gallon, but we wanna know which car has the best gas mileage, so largest to smallest. And say we wanted to add a level, and then sort by average price, smallest to largest. So here we see the best gas mileage is 50, then 46, 43, etc. We have three cars here that get 37 miles per gallon. And within those, we have the average price here, lowest, medium, highest, right? So now you have a good idea of how to sort your data in a lot of different ways using Excel. Again, usually you can find these tools either under the home 
sort and filter or under data sort. So join me next time when we're going to see what these filter options are all about. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.